Happy Monday. How are you guys all doing today? Are you guys ready to craft? I know I am. It has been an exciting weekend and it's a fresh week, so here we go. So I'm gonna let you know I went back to Hobby Lobby and I found this adorable bunny. And when I shopped for them, they had plenty here in Kearney. So go to Hobby Lobby in the Easter department and these are 40% off. And this bunny only costs three dollars and 49 cents and then take 40 percent off so that is a deal that is it and it is cute it's already got your twine on it so when you go buy it this is what it's going to look like it's just raw material it's really nice and it's thin and it's got this cotton tail already on there so you don't need to go buy that we're just going to clip it off and glue it back on so we are going to go ahead and we are going to make it look like this I had gone over into the ribbon department and I did not look at the Hobby Lobby app, but I bet ribbon is on sale today. If you need ribbon, go grab it. If not, you can use something that you have at home. And you know, we already have the twine and again, we're going to use those really cute buttons. So let's make a rabbit. Okay, I'm going to set this one over here. And always remember, if you want to join our texting family, Go there and get notified when there are things going on at the Rusty Patch, when there's specials, sales, all that above. So your items that you're going to need today to do your crafting, you're going to need your handy dandy paintbrushes, you're going to need your twine, you're going to need a button, and you're going to need whatever ribbon color that you would like to do. We're going to do this really fun green today. Your glue gun, your drying gun, scissors, um, and your paints. So the paints that I'm going to use, again, sand gray. I like my bunnies to look a little bit grubbier. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, I'm going to lay this over here so you guys can see while we're painting. We're going to go and do the circles with a gray sky. And then we're going to do a little bit of white on top of it and give it that dry brushing look. So this is super easy, super fast. Um, but this would be very cute if you went and bought a great binary and you put little holes in it and drill that and put that in your wreath and then you can go get some silk flowers. Silks should probably be on sale too. So you're going to go take your scissors and you're going to cut that tail off as close as you can. Okay. There is our tail. Peter Cottontail has now been detailed. You're going to go ahead and you're going to get your sand gray. Always remember to shake your paints up because as they sit, they will separate a little bit. And no one wants watery paint at all. Okay, so now we're going to take our paintbrush and you can pick whatever paintbrush that is comfortable for you. Sometimes I like the big paintbrushes because then the it's got nice even strokes. Nice wide strokes versus the small ones. And I will let you know that this lumber, <clears throat> it absorbs the paint and it dries very fast. So we may not even need the dryer today, but always have it on hand just in case. And this would be really cute if you went and got, like, you got three little kiddos or you got grandkids and you made this paint, you painted this and you wrote their name on it. And if you're good with your handwriting, handwrite their name, or if you have a Cricut, Go print out their name on your Cricut. I have a Cricut upstairs at the store. And I'll be honest with you, I just have not taken the time to learn how to use it. I think it would be fun. I just need to do it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this little guy all covered. We did purchase a sublimation machine, so that has been really fun, and I'll be honest with you, Mindy's the one that prints all that stuff out, and then I just press it and make really cute stuff with it. So be looking on the Rustic Patches Facebook page with some new sublimation materials. We've got some coffee mugs, we've got some tumblers, some slim tumblers, which you can personalize, which are really cute. Okay. Who likes this bunny so far? And if you guys are on this morning, I'd love to hear where you're from. And who is ready for Easter? Can you believe Easter is already like next Sunday? I 
cannot believe how fast time goes by. Okay, so as you see, we are already doing coat number two because it is drying so fast. Sometimes it's the material, sometimes it's just the air. Sometimes it's just a little bit of both. And your bunny, I will let you know, because of the lumber, it will bow just a little bit because it is wet from the paint, but it will bend back down. It will, once it, that paint all dries and it settles, it will, it will go flat again. I guess what I'd like to hear from you guys, are you liking more detailed items or do you like both? Something that Minnie and I have designed and it's something different that you can't go buy everywhere or do you like the items where you guys can go to Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and pick up the items and get them right away? Love to hear back from you guys. We would love to some feedback. Moving forward, what direction, and maybe just a little bit of both, like what we were planning. So, I'm always open to opinions. Also, if you guys are in need of any help decorating, if you are selling your house, if you need some help staging it to make the flow go a lot better, I would love to be that person. You can go to our website and you can fill out a form. And for a small fee, I am there to help you with any of your decorating needs. Okay, we're gonna go and dry this because the second coat is not drying quite as fast. And be careful because this does get really hot. Don't burn, don't burn his tail. If you do, it will cover up, but. Okay, that is done. Now we're gonna go and take that gray. And I forgot my glass of water, so I'll have to go wash these out. And you're just gonna need a little bit of gray. And you're gonna take that gray, remember we're going to dry brush. So you're gonna fill it tap it and then you just go along and you make your polka dots as big or as little as you would like and always remember when you're going to dry brush pull swirl and tap and take that excess off that way then your polka dots aren't really heavy now if you want really heavy polka dots you can draw your polka dots on and then take another brush and fill those in I I've done both. I prefer light, airy polka dots versus heavy ones. Like again, I've done both of them. It depends on the product that you're doing because you just never know. And these are inexpensive and if you start one way, you can buy another one and start over again. Okay, so there you go. So there's all your gray. Now, if you like it just like that, leave it gray polka dots and don't do your white on top. So now we're going to do is we're going to take your white and I'm going to go ahead, if you wanted to, you can use the same brush, but I'm going to go ahead and use a new one because I want it to be solid white on top versus a blending. And then you're just going to go right back over those polka dots. Can definitely tell allergies are hitting Nebraska. And there's your weather terror. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. It was so nice. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to dry brush and you're just going to pull that. And this is where you can make your dry brushing heavy. You can make it light. Remember, this is yours. Make it how you would like. And you want, if you want your bunny gray, paint your bunny all gray. You don't have to put polka dots on it. You can paint your, make your bunny pink. Because it said 40% off of $3.49. This is a great project just to do with the kids. You just go buy, get your supplies. 
They do have like bundles of paint bottles that you can go buy at Hobby Lobby also. So if you just want to go buy some fun paints, just go buy the six pack and then be done. Take it home and let the kids just pick whatever colors they want. They do have sets of paint brushes or you can go to Amazon. I do have an Amazon shopping page and I can show you where I've got some of my paint brushes there too. Okay. We are not going to make this antique-ish. Um, if you want to, go ahead and get your wax and go along the edges like what we've done in the past, like we did our bunny on Thursday. This one I just left playing with no antiquing because I just think he was just really cute just like this. Okay, so that is it for the paintbrushes. So as you can see, it was super easy. We just took that white just very lightly. And just remember when you're dry brushing on your surface of anything you're painting, always keep that paintbrush straight up and down because you want to make sure that your brush strokes are going exactly the same because if you would tilt your if you would tilt your paintbrush, you're going to get some really unevenness and you're really not going to like it very well. So I want to make sure. And if you're scared, just go on something scrap. If you just got, I mean, just like a plain piece of paper, just practice on there before you go on your piece of wood. I just want to make sure you're happy with your item when you are finished. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these off to the side so we don't get paint on our ribbon. So the next thing we're going to do is... We are going to get our scissors, and I went ahead and I pre-cut this one. So you're going to take your ribbon that you have chosen, and you're going to set it over here. And on this one, then you're going to take your scissors, and hopefully these are sharp enough. It's crazy how much you use a pair of scissors, and they don't stay sharp. And I can tell you, I probably don't buy the best scissors. Just because sometimes they get used for things that they're not supposed to be used. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to set this one. And this is just his ribbon around his neck. That is it. Okay. And there's that. You're just going to twist it over and then put a little glue there just to secure it. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your bow dabra that we love because it makes bow making so much easier. And you're just gonna do this. And then the next thing I did, because this is a little bit wider, so I went ahead and when you, I don't know how many inches this is, but you can just kind of take a guess. And you may end up making your bow a little bit too long, which is okay. I'd rather make your bow too long than too short. So I went ahead and cut this in half because it was just a little too wide for our bunny's neck. And then you're just going to take that and go side by side. And again, just kind of take a guess. Cut. And then you're going to go there again and there again. And let's do one more. See, there's paint on my knuckle now. Okay. Set that off to the side. Who is excited for this bunny? I think he is adorable. I saw him and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to do a bunny. Okay, then you're going to take your twine. You know we love our twine. We love our buttons. We love our rubber stamps. And if you want to, since we bought those tags last week, you do have some tags left over. Get your rubber stamps out and make a tag and go hop. And then just tie that off to the side. That would be like super, super cute. Okay, so I've got my twine and I made a little, made a little bit too big of a twine bundle. Push that down there. And then there's that. Okay. And this is, and you don't need to put the twine on there. I just like it because it's got different texture. It's got a little bit more dimension. And then you're gonna tie that, tie it tight, pull it out of your bow dabra. You can buy your bow jabra on Amazon, and I will put the link underneath our video. Or no, I'll just put it on our Facebook page, on this one. How about that? And that way you guys can go directly to there, and you don't have to do any searching around. Because sometimes searching around, you just, sometimes it's just too much. Especially if you're short on time. 
Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to side cut those and keep going. So how did you guys spend your Sunday? It was such a beautiful day. I'll tell you how mine was spent. So yesterday morning, um, a group of us girls that have signed up to do the half marathon in May, we got up and we met at Yanny Park and we started all together and we all had a goal in mind of how many miles we were going to complete that day. We've got five weeks until our run. And then we all just started running and went on our own pace, um, our own goals to succeed. And I am pretty proud of myself. I had set in my mind that I was going to do six miles and I actually did eight. I am not a fast runner. I am a, I would say, jogger. I am, I was very happy with my run. I kept reporting to Mark. I'm at two, I'm at four, I'm at six. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do eight. So um, one of the gals, um, a group of my girls, they did 10 miles, and I think one did 5.6, 5.5, I think is what she did, and we all did exactly what we were wanting to do, and then there was one of them that is a running machine, and she did 20 miles yesterday, so she is doing the full marathon in May in Lincoln, so she is like seriously a running machine. I just had goals, goals. Then we had a charcuterie class at the store yesterday afternoon at 2. And then I had a painting class last night at 6.30. Had a late dinner with a friend. And then here we are. And it's Monday. That is crazy. Okay. So the ones that we had glued down that we tied around, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip those. That way they match all the other ones that we did have these. Since we're talking about have these, let's make our bow have these. And you're just going to tie that. There we go. And we're going to take that button. And let's take, and like I said, this, is, this was a really cool button. I don't even know what this came off of. But it was in my jar of buttons that I was given. And if you guys are button collectors, they make really cute displays. Especially if you get some of your grandma's old buttons. Get an old mason jar, one of those blue ones, and just display those. Put buttons, and if you've got grandma's thimble, um, put those somewhere. Or even like little scraps of material in with something that was your grandma's, and put those out so you can see those that make you smile every day. I have a cabinet in our home that has a lot of memorabilia things between grandparents and my, my dad, and things that Mark and I just picked up on trips that are just good reflections of good times and make you smile. Memories made every day makes the heart happy. Okay, so the deal with the, the little tail, if you want to, since we went ahead and we had gotten that little warm, maybe this is a good thing. Watch this. Watch some of it come off, not all of it. Okay, so now let's go and let's take that little tail and let's just go to town. And I'm going to say put it down here. That way you'll have a little bit more control. Because last time I put it on my tail and then push it down and then I had some glue poop out of the side. So I learned, put your glue on your bunny and then put it down. Because I just got way too much glue. Because as you push that down, that glue is going to spread. So this would be the case, little glue is better than a lot of glue. Learn from Sonia. Okay. He's so cute. We'll call him Thumper. This one's Betty, and this one's Thumper. It's always fun to name your bunnies too. Okay, that is it. That is it, that is it. And I did not paint the sides. I left that nice little rim on the side so you had a little bit of dimension. And if you want to, you can paint the sides too. You can put this in a wreath. You can just hang this anywhere. If you have one of those little country shelves that have the knots on the bottom of it, 
put them right there if you want to add some more texture. Get some of your Spanish moss that we've bought in previous in one of our crafting events. Put some Spanish moss in there or that succulus. Um, if you want to do a mice and a face, you sure can. I am just not a face person on anything. I like mine just to be happy like this. There's sometimes that artist part of me comes out, and then there's sometimes like, nope, not today. Okay, that is it. There is our two bunnies. This is the one I made prior, and this is the one we made today. So which one do you like better? Do you like orange ribbon, or do you like green ribbon? Okay, go to our YouTube video, like, share. If you love this video today, share it with your friends. Show them how easy this is to make. And the paints that we did use today, I'm just going to recap, our snow, our snowman. We do not want to talk about snow. Our bunny, because the same thing as my snowman. Um, sand gray is your bunny. Your gray is your gray sky that we did the polka dots on. And then you're going to do your white. And you just need ribbon, twine, glue gun. Um, you don't really need the dryer if you have things to do then you could just let it air dry because like I said, it didn't take very long to dry. Um, and that's it. So it's super easy and you know, every once in a while you're gonna get glue on your fingernails. That's what I did. Okay guys, get your Bodabra. I will put the link for the Bodabra um, on our website so you can go over and get your Bodabra and I will put the link on paint brushes too. So there you go. Guys, have a great day. It's gonna be a great Monday. And from my craft room to your craft room, happy crafting. Okay, I'm going to take this really quick. Okay. Whoop. Sorry, my fingers. Tammy says, good morning. Your bunny is so cute. I like what you and Mindy, I like your and Mindy's design because I don't live near craft stores. That's right, Tammy. You don't live near a craft store. So I we will keep doing a little bit of both and we will make some fun things. You guys just wait. And what would you guys like to do next? Uh, after Easter, I would love to hear from you guys what you guys would like to do. And Marlene says, good morning. Super cute bunny. I like either ideas. I love the feedback. And Jolinda says, super cute. Thank you. Go get your supplies, girl. I think they're so adorable. Okay, and those those paints again. See you guys soon. And thank you for the stars. I love the stars. Happy, happy, happy day.